I'll record a video. Here we go. Hello, everybody. It's Saturday morning. I have my goal is to go live Saturday mornings. At least that's what I've been saying. That is the mission. Uh, last week I played the game, but this week I had a little bit of work to do, and I figured we'll have some fun. Uh, I gotta I gotta edit these photos basically. So while I'm going through them, I could sort of walk you through what I do when I edit my photos, my workflow. Um, you guys could ask me questions. I don't know how like nitty gritty it's going to get. Um, I'll try and do that. Like I'll try and get as nitty gritty as I can, but like I actually do, do have work to do. So it just sort of like seeing my process. Um, I mean, I enjoy these when I see other people um, editing. I think like it just sort of, one, inspires me. Two, I take lessons out of it. And three, just sort of, it's fun to sort of see like the workflow of like, ooh, you messed up that in that photo. You know what I mean? Like not every photo as I'll see is going to be perfect. Most will probably be, <laughs> most will probably be bad. I mean, this was two different photo shoots, quick photo shoots I did in the apartment. So it's 176 photos. Um, so the first thing I always do is just start going through the photos and just deleting either what's a terrible photo or um, what's just like a completely duplicate photo. So um, I might end up repeating it. So watching this on YouTube later, I might end up repeating myself as people come in, but we'll go through it and we'll have some fun. So this is a photo shoot that I did um, for an ad actually of coming up for Too Good To Go. It's actually very cool. Um, they take food from restaurants that were going to be thrown out and they sell it to you basically. So like I got these bagels. These are bagels that, you know, after a day they're not gonna sell them. They would normally go to garbage, but for like a much lesser fee, um, you get to buy them. It's kind of like hacking the system. So basically my workflow is I just start going through, oh wait, I didn't even start at the beginning. Ah, there I am. Good test shot. Not a photo of a post. Um, although it's kind of funny, I might keep that one. Oh, that's kind of nice. All right, I mean, <laughs> I do like stupid photos of me. That's always fun. Um, yeah, no, that doesn't work. My computer's gonna be running a little slow because I am streaming and on Lightroom and the GPU is cranked to 100. So be patient uh, as I go through these. But basically, like I was saying, just going through every single photo and seeing what like I could edit or not edit. Um, I only really need three photos maybe out of this whole, this whole first shoot I did. So I probably took close to 100 photos. So that, that honestly is a lot of the work just going through them one by one by one by one by one and seeing what I want and don't want. So I made a little bagel with the bagels that I picked up. I went half lox and cream cheese and half butter on an egg everything bagel. And there's nothing better than an egg everything bagel, okay? Fight me on it or let me know what what is better. Mm. Um. Yeah, so basically, like, when I'm looking through these, like, okay, uh, this angle's a little bit better, cool, I'll delete this one. And I kind of just, like, go back and forth one by one by one by one by one to see what kind of makes sense. I'm seeing, like, as you can see, it's, like, marginal differences between them. So, cool, this one's a little easier to edit. Get rid of that one. A little different top angle. Okay, like, I try and keep as many different angles as I can until I start editing and then really narrow it down but just trying to get rid of duplicates and what just is a terrible photo. I kind of like, it's gonna be interesting to see how these edit. Uh, as you can see, like the bottom left hand uh, part <laughs> is um, is a little overexposed, but I kind of like the sun coming in. Like it felt breakfasty, it felt morning need sort of like have that sun shining through. So I'll probably mess with it to make it even more obvious, maybe like put in a little like orange glow in the highlights could be nice. We'll see how crazy I want to get with it though. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, this, this is why photo, like why editing takes forever. It's literally just going through the photos. Maybe if I had a better like shooting flow of like not taking a thousand photos, it'd be faster, but I just, I just like having options. I'd rather have the options in post um, than not have the options, even if it makes 
bit more work on the back ends. It's much better than coming back here and being like, oh shit, I didn't have that photo. You know, I'd rather snap away. But like, that's honestly why I've been taking a lot of film photos because obviously you, you don't have that luxury. If you're taking photos of film photos, like you can't, <laughs> like you could edit them, but like you don't have that many to edit from. So you're sort of forced to like slow down, think, especially when I'm shooting with my um, Texas Leica, like those, those rolls um, only have eight photos on them. So like you really don't want to waste photos. So I, I do think it's making me a better photographer a little bit. Um, but I mean, this, I have a 512 gigabyte card in my Canon R5. I could fit thousands of photos on there. So especially like, you know, I do all the work to get the food or get the shot or, or you know, do whatever. It's like, you might as well just kind of snap away and then see what you get. All very similar. Huh. I kind of like these test shots more. <laughs> more. I wish I had kept that lighting. I mean, it's overexposed. We'll fix it. It's fine. The sun kept, kept changing, too. It's hard in my apartment. I love my apartment because of the natural light that, fly, that flows in here. But then during the day, it's actually really hard because the sun fucking keeps moving. The clouds keep moving. And, you know, I'll set up for a shot and literally within seconds, it'll start changing on me. I'm like, oh, God damn it. Um... So basically, same thing as I'm going through here. Just seeing what's similar. Look, I'm like I'm not even looking at the camera. That's not a good shot. So just getting rid of like the junk. Oh, so even here, like I looked at it, it's like, oh, these pillows I'm I hate. Bam, got rid of them. Um, I'm gonna crop it anyway, so I'll have some of it on the side. But now just like, oh god, where am I looking like not the dumbest? Um, that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to save. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's funny. Like I've taken a bajillion photos of myself and I still like, don't really know how to pose. It's just dumb luck. That's why, especially for photos of me, I take so many because I really don't know what my face is going to look like in any of them. So I might as well just like shoot 10 billion photos. And then we go through here and we're like, huh, do any of these look good? Cool. All right. All right. These are bad. I got the comfy sweater on the photos that I'm wearing right now. This is like my, people have like apartment, like house blankets. This is like my house blanket, just my sweater. Especially like I woke up freezing this morning. So like, yeah, I don't really wear this sweater out that much. It's my indoor sweater. Hmm. And this is a live breakfast. You guys know me. I ate breakfast hours ago, but I'm still drinking coffee. But let me know in the chat what you guys are eating. It's more exciting that way. Ooh, look at that. Look at that big bite. Look at that. Damn. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, my computer is. Oh, I mean, beauteous, huh? Fun fact is the locks that I used for this bagel were bad. I had them in my fridge for like three months. So I got these bagels in my brain. I'm like, oh, I have these locks that I haven't opened that are in my fridge. Um, they'll be fine for this. And, it, and I pulled out the bag and I'm like, huh, let me just like triple check this expiration date. We were months over the expiration date. Um, but I was like, I kind of need these for the photo. So it's it smelled. I was not planning on eating these locks. Um, bagel with the butter ate for sure. But yeah, I smelled those locks and I was like, oh, hell no. So try and get a variety of me eating, me holding, holding the food out. Um, I'm probably going to do a gallery for this post anyway. So I want a bunch of different options. I probably want to do three to four photos. So it's nice to get a, a lot of options here. As I had been saying. Some bite photos. Yeah, it wasn't a pleasant smell to have it on my face. Then I was like, what if I'm just like holding a cup of coffee? How does this look? I very rarely take photos on my couch, actually. I only have like four places in my apartment I can really take photos. Like uh, at my kitchen counter, in front of my TV, I guess on my couch. You know, it's a New York City apartment. Like it's not very large. I don't have that many places that like make sense. What has actually helped is, I don't know if you can see it in the shot, I have a brand new light I bought. I bought the Aperture 200D. Whoa. For the price, it's fucking crazy. I'm going to talk more about the light in a different YouTube video. Um, 
the lights like three hundred dollars, two hundred fifty, somewhere like that. For what you get out of it, it is crazy. I can light up my whole apartment in beautiful natural light pretty much twenty four seven now, and it's a complete game changer. It's really wild. Like I'm probably honestly gonna buy another one already. Like I've had this light for a week, and I'm like, oh shit, it's changed everything. It's, the lights in my apartment, like I say, in the sunlight in here is really bright sometimes where it's hard to film or take photos. So I, I can't really rely on sunlight. And um, the lighting in here are all these fucking LEDs, but they're they're so warm. They're basically orange and it just like looks terrible. So what I do now is shut off all the lights in the apartment, jack up the 200D to 100 bounce off of the ceiling and now i have like a beautiful natural daylight uh light pouring down all over the apartment so what i want to do is keep that going keep one just like the apartment and then one to 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 fill my face because i shot with it the other day and the problem is like it just like because of the shadows coming down now from above it just like my face never looks that great and it just like produced shadows like my, I look dead on camera. So a little light right on me will make things look much better. Specifically on um, video. Photos, I could pretty much edit and do whatever I want with them. Like I'll make myself look good, it's fine. Um, cameras are a different story. The video is a different story. I'm not that good yet to make myself look good. As you can see, I need a lot of help. These aren't bad though. I'm pretty happy with these. I forgot. I also need photos of these from stories. So I, I actually probably need like 10 edited photos from this whole set. So I have enough um, to post everywhere. So we'll see. Ooh, wait. Mm. I like these photos. I'm much happier with these than I thought. Touch over up front, but the sun is like just peeking through one of the lights. Um, and again, I kind of was like, mm, it, it, it could be a choice. So we'll fix that when we start edit, when we start like legit editing. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? I never really order a bagel with butter, but when I get it, I'm very happy. What I'll do is I have a whole other photo shoot on here. Um, I won't even touch those yet. We'll just like work on these a little bit because these are actually, I thought I'd just like delete all these photos, but I actually like a lot of these. So this might take me a lot of time to go through and we'll see how much time. My plan is to go live for like an hour and we're already 15 minutes in because we've just been chit-chat anyway. So we'll make it work. Um, hmm, these aren't bad. Surprised that my hair looks good. That's like an accomplishment, honestly. Not that my hair looks good, but my hair looks, it, it's like when it looks best, it's like a have to, has to be timed out really carefully with like the product that I have in my hair. And the sun coming in, I basically have like a two hour window every day in my apartment to get the best photos, um, depending on season, obviously. It's getting easier and easier. It's like in December, oof, I had like 15 minutes in my apartment to get good photos. That was fucking annoying. Ah, my hands are covering the bites. Did not do a good job there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Making love with it. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Delicious goddamn bagel. Mm, I'm like, yeah, I like this. I mean, that's a lot of butter on there too. I was went crazy. I do find photo editing peaceful though. Um, it is a time I could sort of like log off of everything else. I try very hard not to, I mean, I'm being distracted by you guys right now, but I try very hard not to at least be distracted by my phone. Like normally I'll do photo editing really early in the morning and just like turn on music or just have something on the background and it's uh, it's very zen for me um to edit photos Ooh yeah big bite Ooh, get it mm, no i don't love that i want one of like me so this is the so as you see like you see my i'm holding my cell phone in the photo in every photo 
Um, that's basically how I take the photos of myself. The, I shoot on Canon R5. So the Canon R5 has a Canon app connected to my phone and I can hit the shutter on my cell phone. But unfortunately it means that one hand is always taken up by something. So to do things to two hands is hard. I could put it on a timer. There's like a three second timer and a 10 second timer. I just, the way I shoot photos, like it's just, it just takes forever and it's still not, the phone still has to sort of be in the shot anyway for me to like hit it and move it around or whatever. So I'm like, you know what? It just is like part of my thing. The phone is in the shot. It's fine. No one's ever really complained about it, honestly. And you know, we're living in the world of the influencer. This is, this is what it is, especially like, you know, I don't think anyone expects anything differently. <clears throat> I should have got my second cup of coffee before we started. I didn't think about this. I was like, ah, it might be too real. I, I slept in a little bit. So I'm a little bit like, uh, <laughs> what is this face? What, what is this? Let's zoom in. What is happening? <laughs> this is one we delete this is why this is why we do this this is why i take ten thousand photos so when i make a face like that i'm like oh, oh that ain't happening Bye bye get the fuck out of here okay so we're almost done going through these and we'll like legit start the editing that's the other shoot if we get to it we get to it um oh geez i don't like that already all right let's go back to the beginning so basically we go out to the game we start editing so here's the thing if you guys know my photos you know that like i i basically have an edit or at least i hope you notice i have an edit because i work very hard at it um but it's develop um essentially so these are all raw photos from the Canon R5. Generally what you're looking to do um, is raise the contrast, fix exposure, pull it down, add saturation, and then adjust your, your highlights and shadows and whites and all that kind of stuff. That's if we're just going for like a normal photo. Um, but I don't do that. Like, I have my edit. Basically, the way I made my edit was, as you can see, I have like a thousand different edits here that I've downloaded and paid for. Like, these are all from Visco. Um, I bought different like creator edits and stuff. I do literally don't use any of them. What I use them for is just to learn. I'm like, oh, I really like the way that photo looks. Let me see what they did on the sliders to achieve that. And then let me take that and make my own edit. So that's what I'm using right now. I've had different edits over the years. They're all just sort of, I make up names for them. Right now I'm on white mono. Generally they come from like where I found that edit. I was editing a white mono photo and fucking with it. And I'm like, ooh, I like that. That will be the name for it. But basically it's, it's not that big of a secret. It's basically like lower the highlights, raise the shadows. Um, and yeah, that's essentially it. Some of the colors I fuck with a little bit, like blues, I like to pull the saturation out of blues on here. Um, I, I would generally like to mess with like the saturation on, on, on orange, but like, because it's a color of my skin, it's hard. Um, but anyway, so I slapped the edit on there and obviously it's completely overexposed because it's just set for medium on exposure. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull down the exposure. I mean, that's basically already, that basically is already looking good a little bit more. Nope, too far. Ah, looks good, right? Um, next thing I wanna do is look at the crop. So because this is gonna to go to Instagram, I'm gonna crop it four by five. And it looks off just a teeny tiny teeny tiny touch on the angle that I mean I could literally be just because my framing my frames are off a little bit or the angles a touch weird like I'm shooting pretty wide but we could adjust it a teeny tiny that's too far teeny tiny touch 
Okay. Um, and this kind of go, the colors all look pretty good and pretty happy with them. Let's take a look. It's like, you want to look at the prominent colors here. Like to me, I'd maybe want to pop the reds a little bit more, but the problem is that my face is pretty red. So if you start adjusting the reds, it just going to like make my face look really weird and wonky. So I actually really like this. Um, maybe let's pull the blacks down a touch. Okay. I'm pretty happy. I mean, let, you guys let me know if you think this is a shitty photo, tell me. But I think this is pretty good. Um, it's a little cool, but I kind of like my photos being cool on a cooler side. Um, I see like the saturation. I like having less saturation of blues. We could even, like you'll see it in the photo frames, like just where they're going all the way up down i kind of like them uh, just a touch a smidge and let's look at in this bag the color because uh, oh fuck me i touched the wrong goddamn slider i touched blue again um the saturation of the bag like because that's their logo um i might want it to pop a little bit more so i'm going to raise the saturation there and maybe pull down illuminance no, pop up the luminance. Okay. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's not perfect. I see the remote. I just like lots of little things. So basically the, the, my workflow is like, I'll make all the color adjustments now, start copy and pasting it onto the photos. Then when I pick the final photo that I definitely want to post on Instagram, and then I'll bring that into Photoshop and I'll start making the finer adjustments. So like just looking at this, what I'd want to change, um, try and get rid of this remote. Not the end of the world, but it is annoying me. Um, fix my face a little bit. Just clean it up a touch. My face needs it. Um, get rid of just like a, this, just these little, little specks I'll get rid of. Uh, right here, just kind of cleaning up the whole thing. That's it. I mean, honestly, when I bring it to Photoshop, it should take two minutes to finish. But basically, all right, so now... I'm going to copy that, slap it onto the next one. Ooh, yeah. Badass pose right here. Um, hmm. Ah, there. Uh, took, it, took a touch. All right. So even like looking here, like because I just think my face is still a little red. So what I'll do it just to get rid of it, just raise the luminance in the reds and I'll just even it out in my skin a little bit more. Like you don't want to go so crazy, but even just a touch helps. Obviously we lost then some of it in the frames, but like, who cares? <laughs> I don't really want, like, it's nice to have those frames there. It just sort of like helps the bland wall behind me, but I don't necessarily want your eyes to be drawn to it anyway. So it's not, it's not the biggest deal. Copy that. Um, so I'll skip the photos of the food right now. I'll go back to me since we're pretty much there. So these were shot a few minutes later. So the exposure is a little different. So we will have to fuck with this. The framing is, is different too. Um, those are my test shots. I just kind of like them. So I, so I'm like, maybe I'll post them somewhere else. But now we're getting to the, to the nitty gritty real deal stuff here. So obviously we pulled from the other one we're way under uh, exposed. So let's start raising exposure and seeing what we have to fix here. Kind of keep going yeah okay uh let's fix the crop let's get a little tighter too much on top let's go here let me squeeze in a touch all right how does that look guys um i think i want to raise the exposure a little bit more Maybe we'll raise it there. Let's pull down the orange, the luminance, and see if that fixes things. Nope, I'm definitely not that tan. We're not gonna do that. Just a teeny tiny bit. Hmm, what do you guys think? My skin is maybe a tooch over but I kind of like it um 
Let's see if it brings down just a yeah. I don't want it to be under. Okay. I think that's a good place. Let's go back to that aqua because it still seems a bit washed out. Um, let's make it a little darker. Let's make it, no. Hmm, maybe right there. Let's pop a little bit. And let's just take a look at our yellows because the bagel in every shot's gonna be yellow and obviously like I want that to stand out. So let's see how we can mess with that. No, oh, yeah, maybe just like a little down and add a little saturation. Too much saturation. Just a little bit. Okay. I, mean, I think we're in a pretty good spot to now use this. Ah, hello. Um, I'm just editing photos of myself. Um, I think we're in a pretty good spot to now copy this and move it on to the rest of them. And like I said, um, I'll only be using like fucking the final one in Photoshop to fix. But right now, looking at this, the things I would fix in Photoshop in this photo, I could do it in Lightroom. And honestly, it's just so much easier for me to do it in Photoshop. I'd rather wait. And also, I don't know which one I want to post. So there's no reason to do it on every single photo. I'd rather wait, pick that final photo, um, bring it to Photoshop. But like basically, going back again, I will fix my face 100%. And basically, just spot. I'm just going to spot remove all these things. I need to get better at these programs. Oh, yeah, I mean, like, now it's looking over it's supposed to me. Um, this, is why, this is why I'm doing this. <laughs> um, I mean, that was my big thing. It's like, I taught myself how to do all these things. Like, I did not have, know how to use Lyra. I did not know how to edit a photo. I didn't know how to take photos. I didn't know how to do anything. Literally, um, it's all from watching YouTube. I do 90... 8% of my, uh, see the thing is like, I actually hate editing on my phone photos because, well, one, I think it's, it, I think it's two different things. Like if you're going to, if it's JPEG photos that you're editing, it honestly isn't that big of a difference because there's only so much you can change on a JPEG photo. So like, sure, edit on your phone. Um, two things for me is one, I'm making a lot of adjustments and it will drive me fucking crazy if they do it on the phone. Two, with the amount of photos that I'm editing, yeah, I guess my workflow on a phone would be like go through one by one by one, pick one photo, but I kind of like having a few edited photos to choose from. It would drive me wild to to do this uh, on my phone. I have one thing too is like because I couldn't get my edit on my phone in a graceful way, but I actually think Adobe Lightroom on the phone just updated where I am able to save my preset on there, which would make my life easier because I have the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. I could shoot raw on my phone. So that could be a nice workflow. I just find that I kind of like editing photos anyway. So like, it's not that big of a deal. And at the end of the day, I, I honestly think this will end up being faster. So it lets me get photos. It all kind of makes sense. I mean, like I said, like now that I kind of have it, the light didn't really change throughout any of these photos. Um, so it's sort of just slapping the copy and paste on every single time. An excess max. I forget which one that is. I, I, um, I've never, I never owned an iPhone until a few months ago. Um, so I get confused on what all the models were for each of them. Can we touch over? It might be touched over. Oh geez, seven plus 50 months ago. I, um, I mean, I was a Sam, I own, I bought Samsungs for years and then I was a Samsung ambassador and they sent me phones every year. So there was no reason to go to Apple. But while I still love Samsung phones and objectively they are better phones than iPhones, the Android operating system just continued to get in the way of work. Um, it does not play nicely enough with things like Instagram and TikTok. You know, the two apps that I'm on all day iMessage, sending photos. So it just sort of became time to get an iPhone, which was super annoying. Yeah, I just, I, I'm not an Apple person. I'm editing on a PC right now of Surface. Um, I had a Mac Pro, I'm not anti-Apple. I mean, I literally just bought a fucking iPhone, but um, I just, 
didn't think they made the best phones. And I still kind of don't think they make the best phones. But it is what it is. Um, this one's funny. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, it's funny. I keep looking at my other, other monitors to not only chat with you guys, but to check the color. Because normally what I do is I'm editing on my gigantic, like, big professional monitor. Um, what's funny is I have this monitor tunes to the most real color ever. But I find that cell phones do not produce the most real color ever. They produce colors that just look better. So what I my workflow generally when I'm editing photos is edit here, make it look the best that it can. But then I always have to remember that like 99.9% .9 of the people are going to see these photos on their own phone. So my surface monitor is tunes a little bit more to what a cell phone would be. So I'm always sort of double checking like, okay, how, how does this look on the phone? Cool, good, because it's going to look different. Honestly, which is annoying in my own brain. I kind of just want the photo to look as good as possible in the real world. Um, but like I said, everyone looks at it on their cell phone. So it's it's silly to edit not that way. Usually what you're looking at, the differences are warmth. I find cell phones are going to be a little bit more warm than natural. Probably a little bit more saturated. If you're on a Samsung, way more contrasty. That became a difference too of like, I never knew what my content looked like on an iPhone. And because in America, everyone's on an iPhone, um, my content just looked completely different. And it was like, oh shit, this looks great on an iPhone. And I think it was just getting in the way of stuff. I've noticed a difference before we've been looking at different sides of the phone. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, it, like that's part of it too. It's funny, it's like even taking the photos on the phone itself, like Apple does shit. Apple doesn't let Android photos look as good in their fucking thing. And all my cell phone photos were from an Android. So I thought they looked phenomenal, but then I would look at them on someone's iPhone screen look like shit. And like, ugh, part of it is the screen on Samsung just looking really good. And part of it I know is them just like fucking with it, which is annoying. So here you can see like my hands is a little over, but I kind of like that because like that, it, you know, the point of like this post is about like me eating breakfast. So to have that sort of like nice warmth of the sun hitting my hands, I think makes sense. Like one thing I might mess with once we're sort of at the end and I could decide what I want to do is I could pull the highlights in any direction here. Um, so like if I want a little bit more of like a glow from the sun, it's obviously, I mean, it's just me messing with it. So it's very intense. You have to sort of be subtle with it, but you could pull in just like a little bit more glow in the highlights but for now whoops we'll reset it we won't fuck with that yet yes so these are all raw photos out of the r5 um that i'm slapping my edit on um like i was going through the edit before like how i made it it's too confusing to remember exactly how i made it but generally, it's just like pulling the highlights all the way down, raising the shadows all the way up, pulling saturation out of blues. I would say that is like more of the look that I'm going for. Um, and then sort of like going off of there. So like, I like the first photo. We don't need to, we start deleting. Don't need that. Ah, I think I'm big old bite. I also have to remember that I need um, story photos out of here so I will also kind of go back and recrop 9 by 16 so I have some how impressed are you the R5 oh I fucking love it so I it's I'm like pointed at something you can't see uh I was I was on the 5D Mark IV forever the R5 is a gigantic upgrade specifically for what I do um it's the best hybrid camera there is I don't care the new Sony A A1 looks fucking great um but it, they made some odd choices with it, which is the, the the megapixels of the photos is crazy high and it could shoot a billion photos at, in seconds. Obviously not the real math. So if you're a professional photographer, that is amazing, especially like uh, sports or just whatever you have to shoot fast action stuff. 
camera wise obviously like it shoots 8k no it, specs wise and look like it's going to overheat fantastic but it's not really a hybrid creator camera as well as good as the r5 is for a lot of reasons that we'll test out but the main reason is not having a fucking flip screen i know that's a very like me problem but a lot of creators that have bought the r5 and are looking for that hybrid camera it's because they're taking photos and vlogging and i you it's very hard to vlog on a flip screen. I know because I shot with the goddamn Canon 5D Mark IV for years. It's impossible. Um, so I, and it's also, it's exorbitantly expensive. Listen, I paid $4,000 for this R5. The Sony is like 6,800. It's a big difference. So I still think it's the best. I haven't watched anything with the new A7 flip screen. It's a must. Yeah, exactly. It just, it just is what it is. Um, but I love it. The RF glass is insane. I've slowly been upgrading. Like I'm, the camera, I'm actually, the camera that I'm on right now is my R5. It doesn't look fantastic because I'm going from USB-C out in to my computer as opposed to HDMI out. It just is an easier thing for streaming. Um, but I'm on the 1535 millimeter right now on the R5 right now. Um, but I'm team Canon. I'm not saying Sony's don't make amazing cameras. They absolutely do. But I love my Canon. I have no reason to get rid of it. Um, anything else though? But again, like I tell everyone, it's just like, it's just sort of like how you want to use it and what you want to do. Like, listen, is there overheating issues on R5? Not like there were when it launched. A lot of that. But you can't just roll on it for an hour. You know what I mean? Like, you can get close to an hour now, but then it's going to overheat. I don't shoot for over an hour for anything, so it's not a big deal. But if you, you know, shoot an interview and you got to be set up an interview all day, it ain't for you. But again, that's that's every camera. There's pluses and minuses depending on what you want. Nothing, nothing's better than Canon. Yeah, what's nice is, so, I, I mean, I still have, I have my 5D on the tripod right now because I, I, sh I use now two cameras to shoot in the kitchen, which has been really, really nice. Um to have because the glass that I have now is still 1535 RF and then EF I have the adapter so I could use any of my EF lenses 50 mil 16 35 24 to 70 70 to 200 key I got a cheap Sony stream but I don't use it yeah I was thinking about getting something stream just because it's sort of annoying to go back and forth here and honestly there, there might be a better way to stream that might be the next purchase. I mean, honestly, what would help me stream a little bit, and this is really annoying, is getting a new computer, like getting a, like a, getting a desktop. Just fucking give me more GPU right now. Right now my GPU is cranked. It's actually come back down. Let's see where, it came back down a little bit, but it was like, whoo, 90% for a little bit. Um, where, especially when I'm doing this stuff, just like, because, I mean, Twitch just, fucking crushes my gpu well like full frame oh so that was the difference too was 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 going full frame on the um not full frame photo wise but just video wise like on the 5d mark 4 4k was cropped and it was really fucking annoying so now i have the full frame shoot 4k it's 4k hq so it's down sampled i think from the 8 the 8 the 8k sensor it just looks amazing and I'm now shooting C-Log on the Canon, um, which makes a huge difference. Like I put it off forever because I was very intimidated to start editing with it. Oh, and I'm moving my mic, I'm sorry. I'm um, start editing with it. But I just forced myself to do it. And it's sort of like when I forced myself to start shooting raw, you just like, you do it and you're like, oh, I can't go back to anything else. Even if the workflow, the editing of it on very long, it's the fact that my computer can't handle those files enough to render which is sort of annoying, um, but it's totally worth it. I think my footage looks significantly better. Like when I started doing it, people are like, why do your colors look so much better? Log and be able to control the colors. And now going back to my footage of not log footage, I'm like, oh fuck, Canon, like this stuff is like, reds are crazy saturated. Why is this so contrasty? Like I just, I want to have the control over it. I'm trying to find GTX 3080. GPU on a new system. Yeah, no, the, uh, the 
I mean, that's part of it. Two reasons why I have not, I mean, I'm actually feeling very confident in being able to build my own PC right now. I've been watching so much fucking YouTube on how to build a PC. I might actually be able to, and I think it'd be a fun challenge. My two issues are, yes, that, which is the GPU that I, that I really would want is very hard to get. Two, the Apple M1 chip looks fucking crazy. So right now it's not in any computer that I would buy for what I do, but my guess is in the fall, Apple's gonna refresh a few other computers with the new M1 chip. And all these all these programs are gonna be updated for the Apple M1 chip. And then I would hate, because if I, if I built my own desktop, like I would fucking ball out. I would drop cash on it. And for it to then like not be the best computer in the fall when Apple comes out, I'd be pissed. So I'm gonna wait till the fall see what apple does with with the chip and then make a decision by then maybe like you know because the pandemic were through it enough there'll be a lot more gpus on the market to find j2 cents on youtube great for builds oh okay I'll look yeah i've been watching basically like just linus tech t linus tech tips 24 7. <laughs> um and austin evans i've watched a lot of build season but just linus just like streaming live in my apartment every second Tom would drive to use this crypto. Well, yeah, that's it too. Like as, as fucking Bitcoin goes up and up and up, the GPUs are even harder to find, which is annoying. But at least like you'd figure if they can manufacture them, they'll sell them. So maybe we just have to make more. Right. Do that too. Maybe I'll start mining goddamn Bitcoin in my apartment also. <laughs> I just like the idea of building a computer too. Um, I'm terrified that I will not do well and break it, but I think it'd be a challenge. I mean, I would definitely want like someone with me to do it with me. I absolutely would not build one by myself. As funny as a video that would be for content, if I bought a fucking CPU that's a couple thousand dollars and I install that shit wrong and break it, I will be pissed. And also like, if you're looking at like a CPU that big, um, if you're looking at a monster GPU, you're gonna have to think about cooling. And it's like, how many fans are you gonna put in there? You're gonna water cool it? Like, there's so many things that could go wrong with all that um, that I would very much like someone with me to do it. Maybe I'll get someone to sponsor the video and then it works out for everybody too. I think it's easy to build, just cable. Yeah, uh, I feel like I have a good sense of a lot of the steps, I think a few things. One, not even cable management, but just 100% knowing where everything's gonna go. Two, troubleshooting. I think if anything goes wrong, I will have no clue how to fix it. Um, that's my concern. Where like, I know the steps in my brain on how to build, like what I need, where it goes, blah, 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 blah. But if I fucking hit that power button and nothing happens, I'm not gonna have a clue. <laughs> On what to do. So having someone with me would be helpful. <laughs> but yeah, I actually started pricing out a PC the other day just to like get a sense. And then like I quickly realized I couldn't find anything I wanted anyway. So it's like, all right, I might as well just wait. All right, I'm like, not even. This is what happens too, is like, at this point, it's just slapping my edit on there. So it's like not, I don't really have to pay attention that much until I like pick which one I want. My computer is, I feel it slow. Um, mm, that's an excellent question too. I mean, that's also why I, it's, it's sort of like, you start, that's what happened to me too, is I started picking, it's like, I don't know where to start first. Like I started the GPU and then started picking and it's like, oh, but then that doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense here. Like maybe a thread ripper. I also have to like find out, like I think a lot of problems like what I watch is like so many things, so many videos that I watch about PC builds are completely optimized to gaming and I will not be gaming on this PC. like. If I game at all, it's because I have the Xbox Series X streaming into the computer. So I think I need to do a bit to like what makes 
expense for video editing, like RAM for sure, tons of it. Um, but then what's optimized for that, which I don't really see a lot because every build I watch is just about gaming. So, um, oh yeah, well see exactly like that's that circle of like, okay, so we're gonna do a thread ripper and we go giant GPU. It's like, okay, well then we need a goddamn giant power brick. And then it's like, okay, but I can't find that. I can't find that. I just like, oh my God, I, there's no reason to like draw myself crazy. All right, well, the photos of me are edited. So what we're gonna do is go back to these photos of the bagels and see how the edit looks in there. I'm sure I'm gonna have to adjust stuff. And because my face isn't on it, my skin isn't on it, um, I could mess with saturation colors a little bit more. I'm like the Ryzen uh, 5900 GTX 38. Ooh, a beast, beast mode. This, I think these are all, I think what I took these were for stories. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make them nine by 16. So I don't need them to be bigger than that. I mean, I don't need them for the feed. Let's pull down the exposure. I think that's pretty good. Maybe, maybe let's pull down the yellows. It's like, Luminance on a bagels a little bit. Uh -huh, there you go. Look at that. And we'll just copy and paste that edit onto a few of these bad boys. Although I guess I need one four by five. This is all branded stuff. I just don't know what they're gonna want. Um, and I'm sure a photo of their bag they would enjoy let's see which one looks better. I think actually this one I'm gonna go back and make four by five because I kind of like this one. And then I have the feed option. So a little more space to play with, there we go. Yeah, this is an ad for Too Good To Go. So Too Good To Go is actually really cool. It's an app here and what they did is they partner with restaurants to um, sell food that the restaurants are gonna throw out. So like, this is the bagel shop in New Williamsburg. Basically, you pre-order that morning if you want anything. You know, it's a mystery of what you're gonna get, but like, I kinda knew what I was gonna get from the bagel store. And it's like $3, $5, whatever it is. And I got there, and these, again, the restaurants just throw these out, and they were made that morning. So they gave me a you get a dozen bagels and then they were like, eh, we're gonna throw these out with throwing more. So they gave me 15 bagels that were just like not stale. They were just a few, like they just, they're not even gonna be stale the next morning, but like they're only gonna serve fresh bagels. Um, so end of the day, fresh food. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I thought it was just like a really, I was like, oh, this app is actually kind of cool. Like it's sort of like hacking the system. Uh, Cause I was like, oh, if I had people coming over the next morning for bagels, like I wouldn't want to like, wait to get bagels anyway, just get them the afternoon before. Maybe they need toasting, but like, whatever. Yeah, I mean, like, I, it depends, I guess, like what you're gonna use and we're gonna do, but like I saw some places, like some places had like veggies and stuff. It just like, they're gonna get a fresh shipment. And like, again, like it, you know, so I'm like, oh, it's kind of a win, win, win. Like restaurants can make a little bit more extra money, less waste. I thought it was cool. So anyway, these are the photos that I took. Um, for them. So I need a feed post from it and some stories. So I don't know what I'm going to use when I'm just giving myself options. <laughs> I hear the fans on my computer being like, fuck you. I mean, I'm on the Surface laptop doing all this. So I think, so the app is too, too good to go. I guess I could just open it and see. I think it's on the New York City thing right now. Maybe a few other places in um, uh, America. Let's see here. Great, who cares? Um, it looks like it's just New York. Right? Oh no, Boston. So New York and Boston. That's pretty good. Uh, where are we at? Okay, we are 50 minutes. Perfect. I'll do an hour. I also have to post something on Instagram today. I don't really know what I want to do. I have a few things in the can. 
Um, let's raise the expo. Ooh, too much, too much, too much, too much. Go back. Um, <laughs> let's actually now pull down that red and the yellow saturation. Okay. I mean the luminance, sorry. Raise the luminance on the yellow. Looks kind of good. Maybe add a little saturation to the red, make the locks pop a little bit. Okay, looks good. Can't be. You know, two more photos to go, and then we're finished. Uh oh, that I used so yes, I used to work. I was in TV for years. That's why I like all this foods like isn't. <laughs> new to me um i worked in sports tv for year. i started working sports tv when i was 19 i worked in sports tv from the time i was 19 to 23 and then i started working in food tv and i was a food producer for food competition food travel cooking shows well before instagram was ever a thing and then i left that world to do this all right so is that all of them nope oh, two more that's sort of why, like, I never technically knew how to do anything in TV. Like, I was just a producer. I told other people how to, like, make the things in my brain happen. But now when I started running Brunch Boys, um, I had it. I just knew what I wanted in my brain. I think that's always made it easier for me. It's like, maybe technically I didn't know how to get what I wanted yet. I taught myself how to do that. But in my brain, I'm like, I know what the shot is. I know what it's supposed to look like. I know what my vision is. And I think, like, that's always been significant. And with this, we are done. Um, so basically the next steps that I would do, oh, just start going through them and picking out some of my favorites, knowing what I want. Um, and then again, like doing the fine tuning and adjustments in Photoshop. So we'll just pick one of the photos here. Um, I'll export all these before I do anything. So like, again, basically what I would do in Photoshop is some of these little specks like this kind of stuff just to clean it up a little bit there's a little bit here and there i'm going to my face this angle looks pretty good but like i don't know if you're going to my face here um like oh well that's we'll fix that um you know i don't make like i don't make changes beyond that i just kind of clean it up a little bit i actually with i forgot to mention within this edit i actually have some um um a little bit of like noise or re noise reduction and it actually helps smooth out my face a little bit which is really nice so that's all built in so like i don't want it to look like my face is gone like i want to leave definition there when you zoom in it's maybe a little bit gone here 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 but when you zoom out, you're never gonna see it and you shouldn't be zooming into people's photos on Instagram anyway, leave it be. So anyway, that is the photo lesson of the day. I think that this was a wild success um, <laughs> compared to other weeks. I think this is fun. Like I enjoy playing games um, on here too. And maybe we'll do that next week as well. But I think like I had work to do anyway, and this could be helpful for people. So for everyone who tuned in, thank you. If you have any more questions, you can comment below. I'm happy to answer. Um, and yeah, my plan is every Saturday morning to go live. And maybe we'll find better times that works. But for now, moving forward, I can't leave the apartment anyway. It's zero degrees in New York City right now. This is wonderful. So thank you guys. I will see you later. Oh, follow me here. Look, I have my name everywhere. Follow me everywhere. This video is going to live on YouTube too. So, and wait, let me stop. End recording.